Hello and welcome to my video. Thank you for clicking on my channel. Today we're going to talk about meiosis. If it's helpful, I would be happy if you could subscribe and leave me a thumbs up. Let's get started. So what is meiosis? It is a special type of cell division which takes place in all sexually reproducing eukaryotes like animals and humans and uh, it results in four haploid gametes. Gametes are, in the case of us humans, sperm and egg cells. And where does this take place? In the germ cells, so in the sperm producing and egg producing organs. But that's another topic. So why does it even happen? So in fertilization two haploid gametes fuse to build one complete set of chromosomes. This is important to maintain a constant number of chromosomes because if the gametes would consist of diploid sets of chromosomes then their generation the offspring generation would have already double as much chromosomes and so on so the numbers of chromosomes would change with every generation so that's why meiosis takes place so that um, we have haploid gametes and they fuse and build a diploid complete set of chromosomes also, it leads to exchange of genes, which results in genetic variation. And that takes place in the prophase and in the metaphase of the first part of the meiosis, but that I will explain in a second. So, the meiosis is divided in meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. In the first uh, meiosis, we have a diploid set, so a 2N set of chromosomes. And in the second meiosis, we have a haploid set. So uh, just half the number, uh, yeah, half a set of chromosomes. The phases are the same as in the mitosis. If you haven't seen that video yet, I will put it up uh, over me so that you can, yeah, switch back to mitosis and then see meiosis after that. Okay, now we can go through the phases individually. Prophase one. So the chromosomes condense here and um, go into, into this X shape and also the nuclear envelope dissolves so that the chromosomes can move freely within the cell and also crossing over occurs. Uh, this leads to this genetic variation. I made a drawing of the crossing over to explain it a little bit. As you can see um, on the bottom left of the picture, there are two chromosomes, they're homologous, so um, they're both the chromosomes one or two or yeah, um, two sets of chromosomes, one set of chromosomes from the same pair and they exchange a part of the chromosome which is on the same location for both of them. So in this case they both exchange, exchange the top right part of the chromosome. The next, uh, next phase is metaphase 1. This is like in mitosis also that the chromosome pairs align in the metaplane and then the spindle fibers attach to the centromere and um, yeah, in the next phase they will pull them apart from each other but here the spindle fibers only attach. Also here um, an interchromosomal recombination happens um, so the chromosomes are aligned and then either the chromosome from the father or the chromosome from the mother uh, will be attached to a spindle fiber which then drags it to a pole. So here the spindle fibers kind of determine whether the chromosome from the father or the chromosome from the mother will be put into the new cell. In anaphase 1 the chromosomes are now pulled to the poles on different sides of the cell um, as you can see here the complete chromosome is pulled apart um, from its homologous partner. So now um, the chromosomes will be haploid but the cell is not divided yet so it's still a diploid cell which then in telophase 1 will divide so the cytoplasm is divided and the cell membrane folds in. Now we have two new cells with each a haploid set. Now these two cells will each individually go into meiosis 2. They will go in meiosis 2 in the same time, but uh, they are now two individual cells. 
So I drew here that the process of meiosis II happens twice. I just didn't draw the second uh, row of cells under it. So in prophase II, again, the new spindles form. The chromosomes are still in the transport form, so in this X shape. And um, the spindle fibers then in metaphase II will elongate and will attach to the chromosomes and will pull the sister chromatids away from each other in anaphase II. So it's the same mechanism as in mitosis or in meiosis I. So it's kind of like a revision again. So now the chromatids are pulled to the different poles in anaphase two. So now the set is halved. And then in the telophase two, the cytoplasm again divides, the cell membrane folds in, and the nuclear envelope forms again. So now we have four new cells, each with a haploid set, so a half set of um, the genetic information and now we created either egg cells or sperm cells which are uh, yeah, ready for fertilization and will then fuse with another gamete to uh, form again a diploid set. Now we will uh, compare the mitosis and the meiosis with each other just to make the differences and also the similarities clear. So mitosis occurs in all organisms except viruses and meiosis occurs only in sexually reproducing, reproducing organisms. Mitosis makes as a product somatic cells, so body cells, and meiosis makes gametes. In mitosis we only have one division cycle and in meiosis we have two division cycles, the meiosis phase 1 and the meiosis phase 2. In mitosis there is no recombination, no crossing over, it's just a pure copying uh, from one mother cell to two daughter cells. In meiosis crossing over occurs in pro phase 1. Just as a quick recap, that was when um, a set or a, a certain sequence of a chromosome is exchanged with its homologous partner. It's the same locus. So as you can see again in the picture, in this case, it was the top left part of each of the homologous chromosomes. Then in mitosis, the end result is two diploid cells. And in meiosis, the end result is four haploid cells. In mitosis, the two daughter cells are identical with each other. And in meiosis, all the four daughter cells are genetically different. This is due to the diploid set, which is formed by uh, the fusion of the sperm cell and the egg cell. And then, um, yeah, with a crossing over and in the metaphase that the uh, chromosomes are pulled in different uh, sections of the cell. And then again, later the chromatids being divided from each other. I drew down here again, which part um, of the cell divisions are diploid in which are haploid. haploid. You can see here that in mitosis the whole process is diploid and in meiosis the meiosis 1 is diploid and the meiosis 2 is haploid. That's it with the video. I hope you learned something and maybe we see each other in the next video. I would be very happy about that. See you then!